Hi guys, it's Ebony here and I wanted to do a quick review on the Iman BB Cream that I haul for you guys in my birthday haul. And um, I talked a little, little bit about it in that video, but I'm going to um, kind of go over a few things that you probably already heard about it. But it's the Iman BB Cream. Um, it has SPF 15, it's paraben free. Um, it came in four different colors and I picked the third to the darkest shade, which is Earth Medium. And you kind of can see the shade right here through this window. But they had four colors and this was the third darkest color. Um, so far I can't not I cannot say that I'm loving this BB cream. Not at all. Um, I'll insert a couple of pictures at the end, but this BB cream made my face so shiny, so shiny that even 30 minutes after I put the BB cream on and I was driving to work and I took a couple of pictures at a, at the stoplight. Because I'm like, is it just me or is my, my face looking really, really, really shiny right now? So I took a couple of pictures and even in the pictures you can tell the shine on my face. And it's not really oil. It wasn't oil because I don't get oily that fast in the morning. It normally takes a few hours before my face gets oily. It was the BB cream. The BB cream was making my face look really shiny. And um, I'm the type of person where I like dewy finishes. Um, I like matte face and body because that gives you kind of like a dewy finish as opposed to a matte finish. But this BB cream gave you more like an oily finish. Not even a dewy finish but like an oily finish. Well anyway, I put a little bit on my hand. The color, if you can see, um, it's kind of on the reddish side. I did notice after I rubbed it into my face, my face, I felt like my face was a little bit more red than what I'm used to, what I, I like. Um, I, I did feel like it was just a little red. I mean, not, it wasn't a terrible, terrible match. I mean, it's a BB cream, so... It only has four shades and those four shades can fit a variety of skin tones so I wasn't expecting like like a perfect match I was expecting after I blended it in for it to kind of blend into my face with a light coverage but it looked a little bit reddish my only concern was the the finish and how it made my face so shiny so um, this is my initial thoughts I've used it a, a few times and I've gotten the same results every time so I'm going to see if I can try some different powders with it and see if that changes my opinion about it. At the time when I was using the BB cream, I was using MAC Studio Fix powder to set to kind of set my makeup. And um, even with powder, it was looking really um really slick on my face, like really kind of oily. So I'm gonna try some different powders and see if that makes a difference. If it doesn't make a difference, I just won't be using it anymore because um I let me tell you the things that I did like about it. I like the SPF 15. Definitely I want to protect my skin. And not all foundations have that. I like the fact that it's light coverage. It's very sheer coverage. So when even when I rubbed it into my hand, it kind of looks like my skin. It doesn't look like I have a layer of foundation on top of my skin. Um, I like the consistency of the, the formula. When you rub it in, it's very smooth. Um, you can easily blend it with your hands if you want it to. You don't really need a brush unless you prefer a brush, but it's very smooth and it's not going to leave, it's not going to be streaky or anything like that. Um, what I don't like about it is the fact that, um, like I said, it made my face look very oily and this was uh, within minutes of applying it. So it wasn't after hours, but within minutes my face looked very oily and shiny. Um, the, the third to the darkest color has a very reddish tint to it, so if you don't have, if your skin doesn't have those red undertones, you may notice that your face looks a little bit red. Now with my color, the, the one, the color that was darker would be too dark and the color that was lighter would be too light. So this is the only color that I could really choose that would work well for me, but it has those very reddish undertones, which is not really the undertones of my skin. So I could, I noticed that. Um, another thing that I didn't like about it is you get the size of a tube, okay? This tube is one, one fluid ounce one fluid ounce and it was $19 it was $18.99 plus tax so to be a drugstore BB cream I think that's a, a tad bit expensive 
Um, I think the price could be a little bit cheaper. Um, as of right now, I'm going to continue to use it and see if my thoughts about it change. Time changes. At this point in time, if you would ask me if I would repurchase the product, the answer would be no. Um, the answer would be no, but I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to continue to try to use it. And if my opinions about this change, um, about this product changes, which sometimes it does as you continue to use a product sometimes you realize that what you initially felt about the product is, is not the same if it does change I'll come back and do a follow-up video but right now I don't care for it too much um, that's about all I can say about this product so if you have any questions or comments or if you've used it and you've loved it and you have a different opinion definitely leave it down below because it might be helpful for someone um, thanks for watching talk to you guys again soon bye Mommy.